Director's Reflections for August 21st of 2022. Those who don't read newspapers. Digital natives don't read print newspapers. Many don't even have a clue how they are made and printed. Nor are they interested in looking for them, fitting them, or immersing themselves in them to read their contents. After some focus groups that I promoted among the Centennials, I confirmed what I knew, that most of these young people had never seen a printed copy in their homes, or if anything, it did not attract their attention at all, neither before nor now. Among those who gave me these testimonies are several who in recent years have graduated from journalism at universities. The later have been trained on the foundations of the new reality of the digital ecosystem of communications and their notions of the written press are diffuse. They do not fit into their fields of interest. Therefore, they are ultra familiar with the virtues of technology and with the new type of journalism that is developed on digital platforms more than with the modalities of their predecessors. Their knowledge of what a written newspaper is very superficial, not to say very little. Their way to be informed, entertain, or learn is digital through smartphones, tablets, laptops, or computers. They are net users of the screens and prefer audiovisual content, graphics, or images that speak from themselves rather than text. They avoid long sentences or paragraphs, and if it is to listen to them in voice, they usually speed up the speed of transmission of the message so as not to waste time. Because they are used to vertical reading, they feel comfortable when sentences are short and can be read without detracting from their time budget. They like to get to the point on facts, no incomprehensible or far-fetched words. They love the colloquial, and in what has to do with news, they are more interested in the how and why of the fact. These characteristics are already known by content managers, the digital editors themselves, and the producers of audio or video formats, not so much by traditional journalists who are still immersed in the world of print and gradually make the transition to digital. Understanding this phenomenon of a cultural nature already installed in the habits of the audience, it's essential to know how to make a fruitful transfer of these components in the paper format and what content is the most appropriate in the midst of this transformation. For Listin Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez.